Are you struggling with procrastination? Does it seem that there are never enough hours in the day to accomplish your goals? If you find these questions relatable, you're not alone. But don't worry, we've got some stellar techniques to overcome this common foe. Our mission today is to help you master productivity and conquer procrastination. Let's dive right into our first technique, the two-minute rule. It's a simple yet effective strategy. If there's a task that can be completed in two minutes or less, do it right away. Don't put it off, don't delay. This rule is all about seizing the moment. By tackling these tiny tasks, you reduce your backlog and keep your momentum going. It's like a snowball effect. Small wins lead to larger achievements. Remember, every great journey begins with a single step. And often, that first step is the hardest to take. The two-minute rule is a simple but powerful method that can help you kickstart your productivity. Next up, we have technique number two, time blocking. This is a productivity practice where you schedule your day into specific time slots, each dedicated to a particular task or activity. It's like setting an appointment with yourself to focus on one thing at a time. By doing this, you're not just planning what you'll do, but also when you'll do it. This can significantly reduce the anxiety around the ticking clock and help you manage your time more effectively. Moving on to technique number three, break down tasks into smaller steps. A daunting task can often lead to procrastination, but breaking it down into smaller, more manageable steps makes it feel less overwhelming. Each step accomplished becomes a little victory, fueling your motivation and making the journey towards your goal more enjoyable. Remember, every big task starts with a small step. Moving on, let's dive into technique number four, set SMART goals. SMART is an acronym standing for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time-Bound. When setting goals, make sure they're specific, not vague. They should be measurable so you can track your progress. They need to be achievable, not too lofty or out of reach. They should be relevant to your life and personal growth, and they should be time-bound, having a clear deadline. This method of goal setting is a fantastic path to overcoming procrastination. Now on to technique number five, practice the Pomodoro technique. This time management method involves working for 25 minutes straight, then taking a five minute break. This cycle repeats four times before taking a longer break. This technique helps to maintain focus and productivity, breaking large tasks into manageable chunks. Using these techniques, you can manage your time more effectively and maintain your focus. Before we move on to creating the perfect environment for productivity, let's focus on the crucial step of prioritizing tasks with technique six, the Eisenhower box. The Eisenhower Box is a simple decision-making tool that helps you prioritize and differentiate between urgent and important tasks. The box is divided into four quadrants, urgent and important, important but not urgent, urgent but not important, and not urgent and not important. By categorizing tasks, you can manage your time more effectively, focusing on what truly matters. It's essential to concentrate on important tasks that align with your SMART goals and contribute to your long-term success. Tasks that are urgent but not important should be delegated if possible, while tasks that are neither urgent nor important should be eliminated from your to-do list. Remember, not all tasks are created equal, and it's okay to say no to things that don't contribute to your goals. Mastering the art of prioritization is a game-changer in overcoming procrastination. Let's dive into next technique, harness the power of positive affirmations. It might seem a little out of place in a productivity video, but bear with me. Our mindset is a powerful tool, and it can often be the key to unlocking our productivity potential. Positive affirmations are statements that can help you challenge and overcome self-sabotaging and negative thoughts. When you repeat them often and believe in them, you can start to make positive changes. For instance, instead of saying, I can't do this task, Reframe it as, this task is challenging, but I have the skills and resources to handle it. This technique is not about fooling yourself into believing something that's not true. It's about changing your perspective and believing in your ability to accomplish your tasks and goals. As you go about your day, try to catch yourself when you start to think negatively. Once you become aware of these thoughts, you can consciously choose to think positively instead. This might feel awkward at first, but with practice, it'll become second nature. Remember, your mindset plays a crucial role in overcoming procrastination. Before we delve into creating a productive environment and using positive reinforcement, let's explore next technique. Visualize the consequences of procrastination. This technique is all about understanding the impact of procrastination on your life. 
When you procrastinate, you're not just delaying a task, you're also delaying the satisfaction and benefits that come from completing it. Visualization is a powerful tool that can help you understand this. Here's how you can do it. Close your eyes and imagine two different scenarios. In the first scenario, visualize your life if you continue to procrastinate. You might see missed deadlines, stress, and frustration. In the second scenario, visualize your life if you stop procrastinating. You might see accomplishments, satisfaction, and more free time. The stark contrast between these two scenarios can be a powerful motivator to overcome procrastination. Remember, the key to overcoming procrastination is to visualize the consequences. Now, let's move on to creating a productive environment and using positive reinforcement. Now that we've explored few powerful techniques to overcome procrastination, let's pause for a moment and review what we've learned. We started with the two-minute rule, a simple yet effective way to kickstart any task. Then we moved on to time blocking and breaking down tasks, which help you manage your time efficiently and make your tasks manageable. The third technique was setting SMART goals and practicing the Pomodoro technique to keep you focused and goal-oriented. Fourthly, we learned about prioritizing tasks using the Eisenhower box, a tool to help you decide what's important and urgent. The fifth technique was harnessing the power of positive affirmations to boost your confidence and motivation. And finally, we visualized the consequences of procrastination, a powerful motivator to get you started. Now, before we dive into creating a productive environment and using positive reinforcement, let's underline the key to overcoming procrastination. Start small and maintain consistency. It's not about being perfect. It's about making progress, however small it may be. So start small, keep going, and you'll be amazed at how much you can achieve. Remember, the key to overcoming procrastination is to start small and maintain consistency. Happy productivity to you. Now let's move on to creating a productive environment and using positive reinforcement. Now let's explore how to create a productive environment and use positive reinforcement. Imagine if you were a painter, you'd require a clean canvas to start, right? Similar to that, a clean, organized and distraction-free environment can significantly enhance your productivity. A cluttered space can often lead to a cluttered mind, causing unnecessary stress and procrastination. So, take some time to organize your workspace, remove distractions, and create an environment that encourages productivity. Use positive reinforcement. This is a powerful tool to motivate yourself. Positive reinforcement can come in different forms, such as rewarding yourself with a break, your favorite snack, or even a short walk after accomplishing a task. The idea is to associate the completion of tasks with positive experiences, which can motivate you to get started and keep going. Remember, your environment and mindset play a crucial role in overcoming procrastination. Finally, visualize the consequences of procrastination. It's like peering into a crystal ball, but instead of seeing a rosy future, you're confronted with the grim reality of missed deadlines, stress, and unfulfilled potential. This isn't a scare tactic. It's a powerful motivator. Just think about it. The anxiety of the eventual fallout can propel you into action quicker than any cup of coffee. Now let's look back at our journey. We've explored eight techniques, each a beacon guiding us away from the land of procrastination. The two-minute rule and time blocking help us jumpstart tasks and manage time. Breaking tasks into smaller steps, setting smart goals, and the Pomodoro technique make the work less daunting. A productive environment and positive reinforcement nourish our motivation to keep going. Remember, the key to overcoming procrastination is to start small and maintain consistency. Happy productivity to you!